In Black Lake County, religious leaders joined residents in praying for the release of an American minister imprisoned in Iran. A prayer vigil for Pastor Saeed Abdini was held today on the courthouse steps. 40 with NBC's Elaine Rockley tells us how several denominations prayed together for the same cause. Persecuted Christians will receive rewards for their suffering. Prayers went up for Saeed Abdini. His supporters say he was wrongfully imprisoned for his religious beliefs in the worst jail in Iran. A large crowd gathered at noon on the first anniversary of Abdini's arrest to pray for the Boise, Idaho pastor's release. He was given permission to start an orphanage there, and when he went over to do it, he was arrested by the Iranian Revolutionary Guard and he has been tortured. The prayer vigil began with a recording of the pastor's testimony. It continued with prayers for families of persecuted Christians and prayers for spiritual awakening in Iran. That the gospel of Jesus Christ would be preached and that the nation of Iran would repent, Father. Senior pastor of Be A Doer Church, William Basby, says everyone came as members of the body of Christ to support one man. We're here to pray with our, our brothers and sisters in Christ, unite for the same common goal hoping that a miracle will happen. Saeed Abdini converted to Christianity 13 years ago and started house churches in Iran. Last year, he was arrested at his family's home there. He's charged with crimes against the national security of Iran. Well, just like in the Bible, when they prayed for Peter to be released from prison, that's what we're doing. Church leaders in Cochrane told believers to ask for Abdini's release from jail as if their prayers have already been answered. I believe the Lord can perform miracles and he'll be freed and come home safe and uh, we'll give God glory and honor for it. In Cochran, Elaine Rackley, 41 NBC News. Attendees also prayed for persecuted Christians all over the world tonight. The Cochran Ministerial Alliance says they will continue praying for Pastor Saeed Abdini's release until he is a free man.